It's a piece of cake. Don't cry over spilled milk. Hey, don't be a peeping Tom. We all know these phrases and sometimes we use them because in our minds, we think it's a better way to express ourselves. But where did these phrases come from? Hey, I'm Alex Lam and in this video of Stories of the World, we'll be talking about the origin of the phrase Peeping Tom, which links to the legend of Lady Godiva. Peeping Tom. If we break down the phrase, the peeping part makes sense, but who the hell is Tom? Now I know for a fact we all know one Tom and he ain't no pervert. I'm talking about Tom, our first friend on MySpace. And we know for a fact our MySpace Tom is a good dude. I mean, he was our first friend. Tom, how are you, man? Are you doing okay? Oh, you're a travel photographer? Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Now, I'm happy for my dude, but what I'm not happy about is someone slandering our friend's name. So who is this Tom in Peeping Tom that ruined it for all the Toms? Peeping Tom is part of the legend of Lady Godiva. So let's get into the story. The legend of Godiva is a 900-year-old English legend. Lady Godiva was an 11th century noblewoman who was married to Leofric, the powerful Earl of Mer Mercia and Lord of Coventry. As the story goes, Godiva was disturbed by the extreme high taxes Leofric has put on citizens of Coventry. Concerned for the state of the citizen, she repeatedly asked him to lower the taxes. Leofric, becoming tired of the constant nagging, put up a seemingly impossible task. He said if she rode naked on horseback through the center of the town, he would lower the taxes. Now during this time, reputation was an important asset, so the gravity of this task was unimaginable, especially for a noblewoman. But Lady Godiva was determined to help the public. Godiva stripped off her clothes, climbed onto the horse, and galloped through the market square with only her long flowing hair to cover herself. Now before leaving, she ordered the people of Coventry to remain inside their homes and not peep. But one man named Tom couldn't resist opening his window to get a cheeky eyeful. Upon doing so, this peeping Tom was struck blind. After finishing her naked ride, Godiva confronted her husband and demanded that he hold up to his end of the bargain. True to his word, Lilfric reduced the people's taxes. Many historians believed her nude horseback ride was a myth, though Lady Godiva herself was a real person from the 11th century. She was known to be extremely generous to the church and helped found a Benedictine monastery in Coventry. Yo, that rhyme. Records of her life mention that she was one of the only few female landowners in England in the 1000s, but no accounts of the naked horseback ride. The story seems to have first popped up around 100 years after death in a book by the English monk Roger of Wendover, who was known for exaggerating the truth in his writing. The legend of Peeping Tom didn't become a part of the story until the 16th century. There's many artworks of Lady Godiva and Peeping Tom, so let's take a look at a few. Now, the most famous piece is a Lady Godiva painting by English artist John Collier. It depicts Lady Godiva on a noble steed and her nude on horseback shyly covering up with her hands and hair. Now what's cool is imagining if the artist was going for a point of view of Peeping Tom and this is what he last saw before going blind. So have a think about that. Now the next one is my favourite. It's Godiva clock located in Coventry UK. So on the hour the bell strikes, the door opens opens on the right, a figure of Lady Godiva riding a white horse comes out, she travels a short distance and goes through the door on the other side. While this is happening, above is another window that opens up and out pops the head of Peeping Tom. He has a quick look then covers his eyes. If this is not one of the most awesome things in the world, I don't know what is. Now obviously we're not going to go through every piece of artwork, but these two were my favourite. Personally, I would love to visit the clock. To be honest, I don't think I would be able to stop laughing. So here's a question for you guys. If you were to change the name Tom in the phrase Peeping Tom, what would you change it to? I feel like we need to have a worldwide vote every four years to change the name because it's not fair for Tom, man. Let's change it to Peeping Alex. I'd take one for the team. Hashtag Peeping Alex. So that's the origin story of Peeping Tom and the legend of Lady Godiva. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to hear more stories. Now, if you guys have a story you want me to cover, let me know and be sure to check out my other videos. I'm Peeping Alex and this is Stories 